brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. I'm getting older, I'm not gonna be around forever, getting more forgetful. So due to Fluffy being as understated as it is, I was having trouble locating where I parked it when I came out of Costco. The only thing I could think of to help this was to find something that stood out a little bit more. That brings us to our next point. Here's the next epic build. Fluffy's not gone. He's just in rehabilitation right now, but this color has a special place for me. So we're gonna do this build a little differently. I have a few restrictions, so we wanna keep it in a certain thing. I'm gonna fit an underground parking. I wanna build it to go on more aggressive trips, as well as I don't really wanna climb up very high to get into it anymore. So I know what you're thinking, I'm getting soft. And I am around the edges, but Terraflex had a great idea and they helped us out with the suspension. So we're going to do something we normally don't do. And I say that a lot, but we're going to long arm this bitch. So right here on this table, you'll see we have our normal three and a half inch base kit. We've got the coils and swiver links and the track bar brackets and the bump stops and a Nexus. And obviously a set of Falcon shocks because what else would you use? But on this other table, is the small add-on package we've decided to add to this to make it a little bit more wild. So here you have a full long arm conversion from Terrafex using the giant Alpine IR arms. Crazy brackets needed. We've got the cast drag link. We've got the big tie rod. We've got front and rear track bars and a whole lot of other goodies, including speed bumps to see what trouble we can get ourselves into. First things first to do this, it's a little different than a normal lift kit because there's a lot of prep involved. We have to support both axles, remove all the control arms. We have to pull out the gas tank, set it safely aside so we don't start a fire. Insurance companies hate that. Then we're probably gonna remove a bunch of the exhaust and then we're gonna get to the part where we start cutting off factory brackets and taking this brand new Jeep to a irreversible build. had to wiggle it a little bit.
days later, we have grinded, air hammered, cut off discs, sawzalled every bracket off of the vehicle, making it completely useless and no longer even able to hold a suspension as per the TerraFlex instructions. They assure me I'm going to be happy with the result after. You'll see here only one piece of the front control arm brackets are left. We've removed the entire upper bracket, the other bracket there. At the back, we removed the lower bracket that was here. And the other bracket that was up here for the upper control arm, we did the same on the other side. We did some notching to the body mount because the control arm is going to come through here when we're all done. All said and done, we tried to make it look as factory as if there are no brackets here. Now it's basically just a sled. Good thing we're in Canada. I'll use this instead of my toboggan. So as you can see, there's a whole new cross member connecting the new brackets for strength side to side in aluminum. We've got the brackets moved back what looks like almost a foot. So these arms are significantly longer and obviously all the arms come equipped with the Alpine IR bushings. And we also pressed out the bushings in the front diff and put in IR bushings as well. So it all has the independent rotation. We also decided this time to do an upgraded drag link and tie rods since it's starting to get really popular to upgrade your steering before anything actually happens to it. So we did TerraFlex's massive new tie rod and their cast drag link, which also came with the ability to flip the Nexus steering stabilizer up out of harm's way so we can smash into more low hanging fruit. We have yet to change the factory drive shaft, but we are ordering a custom one in. We're just trying to get all the components to get it built. Um, it definitely needs it for the amount of articulation this particular rig now has. So as you can see with the rear long arms, which are massive, we've moved the bracket from what used to be here. You can't even tell it was ever here because it's gone. And all the way over here so that we can go fast over things and articulate better. Less axle wrap. Obviously in here we have Falcon shocks. Now, normally I would say, look, we're putting in the Falcon 3.3s, it's going to kick ass. But these are actually temporary. We have the Falcon 3.5 E adapts incoming, which are gonna go into this just to make it an even more over the top suspension build. But wait, there's more. There was a set of speed bumps in the box kit we ordered. So what the hell? Cut out the old bump stop, put in the speed bump, adjusted it accordingly. Now we can land a lot nicer. I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feeling like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in a big lease, told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding a road job. I think that I'm back in my bag. Okay, so we tried to do something a little different with this one, mostly because the color is so intense, an accent color is really not gonna go well with it. So we figured we'd do like a raw finish, but this is actually Fuel's new titanium finish, which used to only come in big 20, 22 inch wheels on those baller vehicles, but it's trickled down to us poor off-roaders now. 
so we can really flex out at the mall. So this is the brand new for 2022 Fuel Syndicate in the titanium finish. We did a 17 by nine negative 12, uh, only so we got a little bit more clearance for the long arm suspension. Normally do a plus one up here to try and hide from the police. But uh, we've got other things to help us with the tire pulp that are incoming. What are we doing here? Um, we're going to just move the Jeep over. Instead of starting it, we're just going to pick up forklift to move it. Okay, good idea. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we give you a sneak peek of our newest shop build for promotion. Um, here we have a limited edition all gecko green Rubicon. And this time we went with the two liter turbo engine since, well, we've had all the other engines, might as well try them all. Here, we're just in the preliminary stages. Uh, we've managed to get the suspension in, a couple light upgrades, some wheels and tires, just so we don't get made fun of on the road. We've been really wanting to have one of these colors under the epic umbrella for a long time so this is very early on in the build i will see a lot more gains once we start getting more parts in we're always waiting on parts so this vehicle is very light you can even feel it while driving because we haven't had any bumpers we got the plastic bumpers we got nothing in the back of the jeep we have full skid plates coming we have bumpers coming we have a full goose gear kitchen setup coming so we're going to start adding some weight and obviously a nice set of heavy duty steel sliders to top it all off with. This will one, give us a better planted drive, hopefully bring the vehicle down to about a three inch lift height and make it very nice and capable. Hopefully Jeep will see this and start making some changes because whoever thought it was a good idea to put a red dash in a neon green Jeep has watched the Grinch at Christmas time one too many times. So we ripped the entire dash out and sent it over to our buddies over at Black Cherry and had it done in a very nice satin gecko. And let me tell you, driving this, it's an enjoyment. Looking for an epic Jeep? Give us a call. Please be kind and smash that like button. And hey, we have an online store. Check it out.